I had to uh, record off of my phone because my my SD card is not working for some reason. So I'm hoping that the the colors show up pretty accurate. <laughs> You know, fingers crossed. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys polishes that I think work really well for Valentine's. I'm not going to be able to wear everything. Of course, there are some that I'm going to focus on. Um, I've already worn some of these uh, this February month. But I thought I would mention some that I think are really great options for Valentine's if you haven't decided maybe... Um, what to pull out of your own collection so this is more of an inspirational kind of video i have some pinks some reds some glitters some nudes some sheer polishes barely their polishes and a couple of purples so i'll start off with the sheer barely their polishes i think these are really really great if for some reason you work in a very conservative work environment and you can't do like the poppy punchy kind of pinks or the reds you know if you need to be just a little bit more subdued but still look really beautiful and delicate and sweet on the nails i think these two are really great i currently actually have this one on my nails and it looks so beautiful i love it this is care to dance from opi so it's one of those sheer barely there polishes where you're always going to be able to see the nail line i have three coats on all of my nails on my ring finger i sandwiched in a couple of red hearts and a gold heart which is not all that visible but it still looks really adorable i don't think uh opi has this available anymore but opi makes they have so many of these kind of shades in their lineup already. This one leans just a little bit more purple. So I have Essie's also. This is called Mademoiselle, which leans more pink. And you can see a little bit more of the purple in Care de Dance. And Essie's also very notoriously known for having a bunch of these shades in their lineup. And this particular shade is readily available. So again, this is another one that at three coats, you can see the nail line. It's those sheer polishes. And they look really beautiful for really any season. Um, but they work really well for valentine's a couple of pinks not pinks pur purples i have tempest from simple colors great formula for this one a couple coats i have an old picture of a manicure so i'll pop that up on on the screen for you guys to see it's not focusing this is a cream orchid color and it's really beautiful another cream and this one i have in my project polish so i am going to be wearing it this month but probably not before um valentine's this is on a trip from wet and wild and it's really beautiful i love it i think it's great and it's a little bit different from tempest from simple colors because tempest has a little bit more pink i also though had purple with a purpose because <laughs> I love purple with a purpose. Um, and this one has a little beautiful gold, a uh, pink little shimmer running through it. It's great. And clearly I love it. Or all of these because these all are worn down pretty well. Even the one from Wet n Wild, before I even put it in my project polish, I used up quite a bit of it. And this is a polish that I repurchased in the past and finished bottles of. Same thing with Matte Must Well. This is pretty full because I just repurchased it again at the end of last year after not owning it for quite a few years actually. Some pinks um, and then I'll mention this one actually since it leans a little pink but purple. Also this is Scenic Root and this one's from Orly and this one takes about three coats and it's so beautiful. It's a little bit more vibrant on the nails if you want something a little bit more fun. Pink and Poppy is a really pretty one because it's a little um, it's a little shimmer. And this one, the little shimmer is kind of blue purple, but then it also has a gold. Gold shimmer, I don't think the camera is capturing it very well. The base of this um, is a little bit more like uh, transparent. Let me show you guys. So it may take about three coats, two, three coats, I want to say. I wore it last year, last summer. And it does require a really good glossy top coat so it could look this sparkly on the nails. And then another fun pink, more pastel. This is Free to Roam from Essie. I love the pastel pinks from Essie. I have a video comparing all of the pastel pinks that I own from them. So I'll link it up in the cards. But you can also bring out Fiji. I wasn't going to mention Fiji because I always mention it. But clearly, you know, I love this polish so much. And this is Free to Roam. Out of both of them... Free to Roam has the better formula because it doesn't have as much white in it, but it still looks really beautiful on the nails. It's more blue leaning, more of a blue leaning pink. So three coats for this one, three coats for Fiji, but Fiji is a little bit more tricky 
as far as application. A more mature pink. This one is also from Essie. And this is more of a rose pink. And then it has that strong gold shimmer. This is so beautiful. <laughs> When I wore this, I felt like a senora, a very classy senora, like a very classy older lady. <laughs> and it's just really awesome. It's really beautiful. I really love this one. And that little shimmer is visible on the nails. Let's do a few reds. I have three reds to mention. I recently wore all three of these actually, and I'm gonna wear this one again, and I'll share with you guys what I wanna do with that. So recently I wore Dutch tulips and then did little gold hearts on my ring finger. It's made it for a very cute and delicate manicure. Dutch tulips is a, a pink leaning red, and it has a, a formula you cannot beat. <laughs> it's one to two coats. If you go in a little bit heavier on the first coat, you can get it opaque. But I never do just one coat, even with one, one coat wonders. I always do at least two just to add support on the nails. So what you're gonna see on my nails is two coats. And then I did little gold hearts with this polish, which is from Finger Paints. And this one has micro gold, like champagne cold gold glitter. It has a chunkier yellow gold and pink metallic glitters. This one's really pretty. I have not worn this one on its own. And really, if you want to do little gold hearts, you can use any gold glitter polish or gold shimmer polish even. Um, I had another one out here, which is the one that I have my little gold heart on my nail right here. I use this one, which is Kiss Me on My Mistletoes from Sephora by OPI. It's just a gold shimmer, you know, so bring out any gold shimmer if you want to do that. I think that looks really, really cute. It's adorable. And then I recently wore NARS Jungle Red on my toes, and oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. It's really beautiful. It's a little bit more jelly-like. You can probably see right here. It's a little bit more transparent. And this is my sexy red. Uh, it's it's so sexy on the nails. It looks a little bit juicy because it is a little bit transparent It does require three coats for full opacity, but it has a really really good formula and then um, Sally Hansen's can't beat royalty another one. That's also a little bit more transparent You can see that right there I've used this one so much. I don't think you're gonna be able to see but I've used it so much that I have it down to here it's so pretty. This one you can do two coats and it's even, but you can still see the nail line a little bit because it's a little bit more jelly-like. So on the manicure you're gonna see, I added three coats on my nails. And I actually did um, this one and paired it up with a white. I think white is also really great for Valentine's. You can do accent nail or you can do little hearts. You know, draw, draw on little hearts with a little dotting tool, which is how I did these little hearts. I just used my little dotting tool, but you can definitely use toothpicks or a bobby pin or something of the sort. The manicure that I'm gonna show you using Can't Beat Royalty, I, I did all of most of my nails with Can't Beat Royalty, and then my ring finger, I did a French tip. I used French tip to stamp over the red polish, and then I used Can't Beat Royalty to stamp over the white polish, and then I mattified all my nails, and I thought that looked really, really beautiful. Really enjoyed that manicure. And then let's get into some glitter polishes here. Uh, this one from Morgan Taylor is called uh, rare as rubies This one I've worn by itself. I think I have a really old picture and it's not the best um, Looking picture. I couldn't capture how reflective this looked on the nails, but I do have it here by itself just at one coat So the base is more of like a pinky red and then it has red metallic glitters um, different size hexes and it's really pretty by itself But I think this works really well as a topper maybe putting it over top of another red or I did um, I think I did can't beat royalty and put it over top of uh, Morgan Taylor's R rarest rubies and it looked really pretty because this is kind of jelly like so you can still see the little glitters sitting under can't be royalty but it, they're a little bit more subtle and it gives you more of a sparse glitter but then this one here i also use can't be royalty and use it as a topper and i layered another polish under it so i started off with untouchable decadence from orally and this is a very dense chunky gold glitter so there's varying sizes of glitter some are smaller some are medium size some are a little bit larger 
Put this guy as a base and then put a thin coat of Can't Beat Royalty over top of it. And it looks like rubies. Like rubies on the nails. Look at that. That's so cute. Look at how reflective that is. That's so beautiful. That is the manicure that I want to wear next after this one. I may only be able to squeeze in one more manicure. And then this one, uh, which I just added suspension base because I'd used up a lot of the base. And so I was down to here. And um, I wanted to utilize some more of the glitter. So I put in a suspension base that's made for glitter just to fill it up so i filled it back up but this is called mini style and this one has a mix of red pink and white glitters the base of this is a little bit you know you can see it's a little it's tinted a little bit pink so it's not something that i can put over top of a white but i can definitely put it over top of a medium kind of pink i think last time i put it over top of eden this is jordan though i mean where's eden right here i had more to mention which is why i brought <laughs> i have so many out here i have so many polishes sitting up here and then sitting in front of me so I think last time, the last couple of times that I've worn mini mini style from OPI, I put it over top of Eden from Zoya, which is also really, really beautiful. I'll post a picture um, of when I wore Eden. My only Valentine's themed polish is from Five Below. And I actually went to Five Below about one or two weeks ago now to see if they had any more Valentine's themed polishes because this is an old one. I've had it for years now. Um, and they didn't have any holiday themed polishes, which is shocking to me. So it could be because of everything going on right now. This one has chunky glitter. So you get some silver, white, and then some of the silvers also lean a little bit purple, if you can see. And then it has red metallic lips. It's so cute. And I do need to fish for the lips quite a bit, but worth it it's so adorable i have that one right here i think i have an old picture very old picture <laughs> i haven't reached for that this polish in a really long time you can see some of the glitters lean a little bit purple a uh, cut above is a great option this is a pink metallic look at that it's so beautiful this one is from the brand called just at sun which i found at walmart and it's called get your pink on this is the finest pink glitter i've ever seen look at the little glitters that's so cute right this reminds me though of on um, of um on pinks and needles from opi i used to own that one and then finished it out quite a few years ago actually and then the rest of it just dried out <laughs> pretty much but it kind of reminds me of that one so if you have on pinks and needles from opi i think that's a really good polish for valentine's also that one if i remember correctly has varying sized um hex glitters some holographics that i think work really well i have holographic pearls from revlon this may be a harder one to find but if anything i mean bring out any holographic that you have uh, I don't think they make them this one anymore. The manicure that I wore with this one is using a pink polish from Ellie Colors and I did an accent finger with holographic pearls. And this one takes three coats for opacity. And then a little holographic topper from Orly. I forget the name of it, but someone commented letting me know that it was Christmas silver holographic or something of the sort. And it's from Orly. And it gives you a, a scattered holographic look on the nails. And then two polishes that work really well for a work environment. I have this one, which is called uh, Sunrise Salutations from Sally Hansen. It's a nude. And it is so beautiful. Two, two coats for this one. And then I also have Barefoot in Barcelona. And this one's from OPI. More pink leaning for sure. Both of them are really beautiful. And both of them have a great formula, great for a very conservative work environment, like I mentioned. But if you want to get a little bit more experimental or have a little bit more fun, you can also draw on some little white hearts, very, very small hearts maybe, and make it more Valentine's themed. Because these kind of polishes and these sheer polishes, they're great year round, any occasion doesn't... <laughs> it doesn't really matter they're not strictly for valentine's but i wanted to mention something that you know you can still wear at work if for some reason your your work doesn't allow wearing 
red polishes whether it be creams or even you know let alone glitter and then the same thing for maybe pink polishes maybe you're not allowed to wear something like this or this you know i definitely want to do the manicure of putting on untouchable decadence as a base and then putting on can't be royalty over top of it and then maybe on my ring finger i think because i practiced on my little wheel here i did some sandwiching so i did a heart here with the gold glitter and then topped it over with can't beat royalty and then you can see the hearts they're not super obvious but you can tell that there's something under and i really like the look of that so i may do that on my ring finger i would have already posted all of the pictures of manicures that i've worn in the past i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it inspirational thank you for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye